video, we're talking about um, two lines that are cut by a transversal. And we're not going to talk too much about what is or why is this is happening. We're just going to talk about the process and remind you of some of the key features of these types of problems. Uh, there are other videos that we do make, uh, that we, that I make, that, um, sorry, that um, actually cover the reasons about why this works. So what's happening? Well, we have two lines, L and K. Here they are. And they're cut, right? This other line ca crosses through them, and that's called the transversal. Trans, oops, transversal. And there are a lot of really useful properties that happen when you have a transversal cutting through two lines. One of them is that, if you look at this almost Z shape right here, is that this angle has to equal this one. And also, vertical angles are equal. So a vertical angle, like if you think about this X shape right here, we have two vertical angles right here and here as well, but any vertical angle is equal. So that, that leads us to a conclusion, I think, that if, if this vertical angle equals this one, and this angle equals here, well then it's true that this angle equals this one, right? It's all, it's all equality. If this angle right here is equal to this one and that's equal to that, well then they're all equal to each other. So x plus 95 is our first angle. We know it's equal to 4x minus 10. So this is a problem right here. We want to know, as part A says, what is the value of x? Well, um, my strategy will be to bring all the x's to, the, to this side over here and all the numbers to this side. So I'm going to start with addition and subtraction. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. That'll help me because it gets rid of this 10. Negative 10 plus 10, 0. So we have 4x equals what? 95 plus 10 is 105. So we have x plus 105 equals 4x. Now I want all my, my x's on this side. And before I multiply or divide, I'm still going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract my x's from both sides. And I get 105 because this, this is gone now. x minus x equals, well, 4x minus x is 3x. And then now we're almost done. Divide both sides by 3. I know that 3 goes into 90, 30 times, so this has got to be 35 because 105 is 15 bigger than 90, so 35 equals x, and that's our value. And all I did here was 3 times x divided by 3, those 3's cancel out. So I would say x is 35. And they want to know what's the degrees and what do they measure in degrees of ABC. Where's ABC? Here's A, B, and C. Okay, so let's Let's actually label that the line tool. That'll help us a little bit. So, it's a little overkill here, but there it is. All right, that blue angle right there. Well, what do we know about that angle? Well, again, since we have a transversal right here, it's a straight line, I'm just thinking that, well, whatever this angle is, plus this angle, all together, they're on the same line, and lines have 180 degrees, so I can just add them. So x plus 95 plus y, I'll call that our mystery angle, have to equal 180. Well, we already, we already know what x is. It's 35. So we have 35 plus 95 plus y equals 180. 35 and 95 is 130. So 130 plus something equals 180. And then I just jump ahead, subtract 130 from both sides, and I get y equals 50. So y is a 50 degree angle. All right, the next problem, similar idea. Well, we know these two lines are parallel, m and n. I sh sorry, I should have said that before. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal have really interesting properties. Uh, another, again, so this angle here is equal to this angle. Why? Because they're vertical angles. They're across from each other. So what else do we know? Well, this, this z shape right here, right, like this. It's like a backwards, backwards Z, almost like an S shape. Um, that means this angle equals this one. Okay, well, if these two angles are equal, and these two angles are equal, they're all equal to each other. And we have almost the identical problem, where 4W plus 40 equals W plus 115. So now I want to solve. I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. I get 4w equals w plus 
what? Well, what's 115 minus minus 40? I get 75, right? Because 75 plus 25 is 100, plus another 15 is plus 40. So that's my answer. I'm going to subtract W from both sides. And I get 3W equals 75. So W equals 25. And to make that jump right there, I just thought, well, what if I divide both sides by 3? Right? This cancels out, and 75 divided by 3 is 25. In this problem, we have two vertical angles. You see this X shape right here. Two vertical angles are equal. So 2X equals X plus 15, and we want to know what's X. Well, if we subtract X from both sides, we get X equals 15, and we're done. Vertical angles, nice and straightforward. Here, these two angles are equal because... L and M are parallel, and they're cut by this line, that transversal. So anytime you look at this, this S shape, or conversely, this, this Z shape, what we have are equal angles. These two red angles equal each other, and these two blue angles equal each other. So 5X minus 28 equals 3X plus 12. And we can solve. I'm going to add 28 to both sides. And at the same time, to save, save some space, we subtract 3x from both sides. And now I get what? Well, this cancels out. That's nothing. 5x minus 3x is 2x. This cancels out, right, because 3x minus itself is nothing. And then we have 12 and 28, so we have 40. So 2x equals 40. What does x equal? We'll divide both sides by 2. And x equals 20. If we scroll down... We want to know what is the measure of the angle represented by 5x minus 28. Plug in x. So 5 times 20, that's what x is, minus 28. It's 100 minus 28, which is 72. Okay. On well, this one, same idea as the others. We have two parallel lines, r and t. So these two blue angles equal each other. These two blue angles equal each other. And this blue angle, right? these two are equal. So what does that mean? Well, it means that this red angle, where B is, and the blue angle have to equal 180 degrees. So if I were to add A and B, angle A and B, I would get 180 degrees. So I'm going to use that. We know that A equals 15 plus X plus B, which is 6X plus 60, and that equals 180. So what do we do now? Well, 6x and x, it's 7x. 60 and 15 is 75, and that equals 180. We're almost done. 7x plus 75 is 180, so subtract 75 from both sides. And now I get what? Well, this is gone. That's 75 minus itself. 7x equals 105. So does 70 go into that? 7 go into that? Yes, because I, I just said it. 7 goes into 70. So if I take, divide both sides by, by 7, I get x equals 105 over 7, which I think you can reason out is, I think, well, 7 times 10 is 70, and then we have 30, 35 more to go, 7 times 5 is 35, so 7 times 15 is 105, so x is 15 in this case, but oops, that's not what they want to know. They want to know what's the measure of angle A. And I made a mistake there. A is equal to 15 plus x. So if x is if x is 15, angle A is 15 plus that, which is 30. I don't know if they ask anything else here. Okay, that's that question. Now in this question, um, we've got this angle right here, this blue angle. It equals this angle, which equals this angle. Now that blue angle plus this red angle again has to equal 180. So they want to know, how could we solve this? Well, if the blue angle and the red angle, right, these blue angles are all the same, if we add them up and get 180, that's how I'd solve it. They're not equal to each other. 3x plus 21 does not equal 6x plus 15. And these are, notice these are almost identical, right? They're just rewriting stuff here. Um, but what I would do is 3x plus 21 plus 6x plus 15, which is right here. 3x plus 21, the blue angle, plus 6x plus 15, the red angle, has to equal 180. But here they say 90, so we're almost there. So now, here's the right answer. 6x plus 15, that one angle plus the other, have to equal 180. Because together, the blue and red angles make a straight line. 
which has 180 degrees. Here, same principle. Um, we have a straight line. An 8x plus this angle, 6x plus 60, have to make a 180 degree angle. So I would say 8x plus 16x plus 60 have to equal 180. So these two together make 24x plus 60 equals 180. And I'm going to subtract 60 from both sides. So I get 24x equals 120. And then, well, I'm almost done, right? I want to divide both sides by 24. So 24, I'm going to say a 24 times 5 is what? Well, 5 times 24, 5 times 20 is 100, times 4 is no, 20, so that's 120. So we get x equals 5. And they want to know what's the measure of angle ABC, so don't stop right there. ABC is what? 8x. So if x equals 5, then 8 times x equals 40. So the measure of angle ABC is 40 degrees. Okay, in this problem right here, uh, again, I think we, we see a pattern. We have this angle equals this angle, and then we have this shape right here, so that they're equal as well. So altogether, these angles are equal to each other. So 7x equals 2x plus 35. Take 2x on both sides. We want to figure out what x is. That's what part A asked for. So we get 0 here, and 5x equals 35. So x equals 7. So x equals 7. So what is the measure in degrees of A, angle A? Well, angle A is right here, and that's equal to this angle because of vertical angles. So 2x plus 35, what does that equal? Well, if x is 7, we get 14 plus 35, which is what? 49 degrees. So A is equal to 49 degrees. And what is the angle measure of angle B? Well, notice this blue and red angle. This, well, these two angles right here have to add up to 180. So B, angle B, plus our red angles, which we know are equal to 49, have to equal 180. So subtract 49 from both sides. And again, if you have a number like 49, just think, well, if I took 50, how much would I be taking away? I'd get 130. That's well, taking away a little bit too much, so it's 131, and that's the measure of angle B in this problem. And that's it for the, those type of problems. Hope it helps.